It doesn't take hundreds of stocks for a well-rounded portfolio, you just need one key ETF. When it comes to investing advice, the words make sure you have diversification is surely towards the top of that list. Ideally, you want a portfolio of at least 25 stocks, but instead of focusing on individual companies, I would suggest investing in exchange-traded funds, or ETFs for short, which allow you to invest in many companies all at once. If I had to start from scratch and look for a passive income stable ETF, the first one I'd be considering is SCHD. In today's video, I'll show you what this ETF is all about, how it has historically performed, and if it's a good option to invest in. In the end, I'll show you whether SCHD has what it takes to turn a $10,000 investment into a solid six-figure investment. Even better, we'll ask the question, can it pay over $40,000 in annual dividends? Stick around to find out. Let's start with the basics. The Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF, or SCHD, is an investment fund designed to provide exposure to high-quality U.S. companies with a strong history of paying dividends. But what exactly is an ETF, and why should you consider SCHD for your portfolio? An ETF, or exchange-traded fund, is a type of investment that combines the best features of both stocks and mutual funds. It's traded on stock exchanges just like individual stocks, but it holds a collection of different assets, much like a mutual fund. This means when you invest in an ETF, you get the benefit of diversification, spreading your risk across many companies instead of just one. Now, what makes SCHD stand out among the myriad of ETFs available? For this, you need to look into SCHD's strategy. SCHD is designed to track the performance of the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 Index. This index comprises 100 of the highest dividend-yielding U.S. companies with a record of consistently paying dividends. But it's not just about picking the companies with the highest yields. The index also evaluates these companies based on their financial health, making sure they're capable of maintaining and potentially growing their dividend payments over time. The selection process for SCHD involves a rigorous screening of companies. It looks at factors such as dividend yield, dividend growth rate, and payout ratio. For selection, the stocks must have sustained at least 10 consecutive years of dividend payments, have a minimum float-adjusted market capitalization of 500 million US dollars, and meet minimum liquidity criteria. Additionally, the companies are assessed based on their return on equity, cash flow to debt ratio, and other financial metrics to ensure they're fundamentally strong. This careful selection process helps SCHD focus on high-quality companies that are not only paying dividends, but are also in a position to continue doing so in the future. One of the standout features of SCHD is its sector allocation. Unlike many other dividend-focused ETFs that might be heavily weighted toward a few sectors, SCHD offers a balanced exposure across various sectors. For instance, its top sectors include financials, healthcare, consumer defensive, industrials, and energy. This diversification across different sectors helps mitigate risk as it prevents the ETF from being overly dependent on the performance of any single sector. Let's take a closer look at some of SCHD's top holdings to understand the kind of companies you're investing in. The top holdings include Home Depot, Cisco Systems, AbbVie, Amgen, and Chevron. These companies represent a mix of stability and growth potential, which is central to SCHD's strategy of providing both income and capital appreciation. Perhaps you're asking, but why should I care about all this information, all of these details? It's simple. Understanding the strategy behind SCHD helps you see why it's a strong candidate for your investment portfolio. You're not just investing in riskier, high-yield stocks, you're investing in a carefully curated selection of companies that have a track record of financial health and dividend sustainability. This approach helps provide a steady income stream while also offering the potential for growth. Now that we've explored SCHD's strategy, let's take a closer look at its historical performance. 
This is important because understanding how an investment has performed in the past can provide valuable insights into its potential future returns. First, let's talk numbers. SCHD has a strong track record of delivering impressive returns over the long term. As of the end of last year, SCHD had a one-year price return of 6.65%, a three-year return of 1.81%, a five-year return of 44.79%, and a 10-year return of 101.12%. However, it's important to consider how SCHD performs during bearish market trends as well. While no investment is immune to market downturns, SCHD's focus on high-quality companies helps mitigate losses. During the market correction in 2020, SCHD experienced a decline of 6.5%, which was less severe than the broader market's decline. This resilience during market downturns is a key advantage for long-term investors looking to preserve capital while still generating income. In terms of dividends, SCHD's performance is equally impressive. The ETF has a current dividend yield of 3.66% and has a solid track record of dividend growth. Over the past five years, SCHD has increased its dividends at an average annual rate of 12.88%. Furthermore, looking at seasonality, SCHD has shown consistent performance in certain months with the highest win rates in March, May, October, and November, which often exceed 80%. This seasonality pattern can be helpful for some investors in planning their investments. But does SCHD have what it takes to hit a six-figure valuation? We're about to find out. Stick with me. One of the key factors contributing to SCHD's strong performance is its focus on high-quality dividend-paying companies. These companies tend to be more stable and financially healthy, which helps protect against downside risk during market volatility. Which brings us to the risk profile of the ETF. SCHD has a relatively low expense ratio of 0.06%, which helps enhance overall returns by reducing costs. Moreover, its volatility measured by the beta is lower than that of the broader market. This means SCHD tends to experience smaller price swings compared to the overall market, making it a less risky investment option. SCHD, currently priced at $77.45 per share, also shows a reasonable valuation with a price-to-earnings ratio of 15.8 and a price-to-book ratio of 3.2. That's relatively reasonable compared to the broader market and suggests that it's not overpriced. Its focus on fundamentally strong companies like Home Depot, Cisco Systems, AbbVie, Amgen, and Chevron underpins its stability amidst market volatility. And as I mentioned, it boasts that low expense ratio of 0.06%, further enhancing investor returns. So what do the market analysts say? Well, they're divided. Seeking Alpha rates it a buy, while the quant rating suggests a hold, underscoring the importance of getting diversified viewpoints when doing your research. But overall, amidst fluctuating market conditions driven by economic concerns and geopolitical tensions, SCHD's diversified sector exposure, including financials, healthcare, consumer defensive, industrials, and energy, positions it well for resilience and growth. Looking ahead, the strength of the U.S. economy supported by consumer spending and technological advancements could further improve SCHD's performance. So now that we've explored SCHD's valuation and current market position, let's calculate the potential returns on a $10,000 investment in SCHD over different periods. This analysis will help us understand the growth trajectory and income potential of this ETF. Starting with an initial investment of $10,000, let's see how it performs over time. The current dividend yield for SCHD is 3.66%. But the important metric here is its ability to grow dividends over time. With a dividend growth rate of 11.01%, the income from dividends would increase substantially each year. In addition to dividend income, SCHD also benefits from share price appreciation. The average annual share price appreciation for SCHD is 7.28%. 
This means that not only are you receiving dividends, but the value of your investment is also increasing. So based on these metrics, if John invests $10,000 today, after the first year, this investment in SCHD would grow to $11,094, factoring in both the dividends and the appreciation in share price. If he holds his investment for 10 years, the power of compound growth becomes evident. After 10 years, the $10,000 investment would grow to $30,017. This impressive growth comes from the combination of reinvested dividends and share price appreciation. By reinvesting dividends, you're effectively buying more shares of SCHD, which in turn increases your dividend income each year. It's effortless and continues to add value to your investment like a snowball gathering more and more snow as it rolls down a hill. After 20 years, the investment would grow to $106,842, but let's not stop there. If you hold this investment for 30 years, the results are truly remarkable. Your initial $10,000 investment would grow to an astounding $483,783. This growth includes both the capital appreciation and the dividends reinvested over the years. After 30 years, the dividends alone would amount to $43,448 annually, which breaks down to about $3,621 per month. The total value added from your initial investment would be $473,783. This includes $217,254 from capital appreciation and $256,529 from reinvested dividends. These figures highlight the importance of long-term investing and the benefits of reinvesting dividends to maximize returns. Simply put, by holding on to your investment in SCHD and reinvesting the dividends, you can grow your wealth significantly over time. This approach not only enhances your capital, but also provides a reliable source of income through dividends. It's a win-win strategy that leverages the power of compounding to build a substantial financial future. The question is, are there even better options than SCHD? Click the video on the screen to see which ETF has the potential to pay over $100,000 in monthly dividends.